Hi guys, it's Vi again and today we'll be taking this uh, Ogi, I, I hope I pronounced this correct way, Ogi Scottish chest of drawers. It's massive in its size and it's just uh, in terrible shape. It looks so battered and so damaged but uh, I'll, I'll walk you through what is happening here. So we've got pieces of veneer mis missing and this is a uh, top drawer, it's very, veneer is very bumpy, so I think it's probably coming off. So this is one of the drawers. Inside, it doesn't look that bad, it just need a proper clean and it should be okay. But it's very, very solid piece of uh, furniture. But look at the sizes of those drawers. They are just massive big and it's and it's heavy I'm gonna take the piece out I'm gonna show you where it came from so we've got three more drawers that you can see and there's another one here it's hidden drawer you can see it's this one is actually quite problematic with some uh, spiders living in there not so long ago I'll try to put it back but I don't know whether I'll succeed yeah See, it's just oh, terrible. Uh, it has a lot of scratches and it's very dirty. It's been neglect neglected for so long that it's just unbelievable. But while I've taken this piece out, I want to show you on this side. And again, pieces of veneer missing. And this is the, the bit that it came off from here. So we do have some repair work to do before we start painting it we'll see what 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 we can do we'll show you uh, as many things as we could as we can <laughs> and uh, we'll see what we can come up with I hope you will enjoy this video please remember to subscribe and give us thumbs up if you like it thumbs up if you think that we've done a bad job all the comments are welcome and I hope you will enjoy this video
So this is the bottom half. As you can see, it's been taken apart a bit. So we've got the columns here, columns slash pillar, and the other one is sitting over there. And we just wanted to, to show you something that is happening inside and it needs repair. So this runner is off, so we'll have to fix it. And uh, this part as well here, it's, it's worn off completely. So there's no wood that the drawers can run on it. Uh, this one is actually not bad because the uh, because the drawers run uh, run on the on the bottom of this shelf, so it should be okay. And there is another one here that's been pretty badly damaged as well. Oh, see, this one is falling apart. So we'll see. And at the very bottom. These are the runners for the, for the hidden drawer. As you can see, it's been totally worn off. So Lucas will uh, re replace them as well. This side, and that one is not that bad, but, uh, but we'll have to replace it anyway, just in case. And, oh, a lot of work, but I hope we'll manage. And a little bit of footage from outside. So this is the top half. As you can see, it's been sanded and it's, uh, I wiped it off with a damp cloth, so inside and out, so it's nice and clean. And this is the other side, and you can see all the white patches here, so that's the wood filler that we had to use to get rid of all the missing bits and pieces. And I'm gonna show you on this side, these are the drawers that the, they've been sanded and uh, cleaned as well, so three big and three small. It's, they're almost almost dry now, so maybe we'll take them out. You can see my soon-to-be uh, beans, and this is the water just from two drawers. So you can see it's it's pretty mucky. But I didn't use any chemicals because, as uh, as you can see, as as you saw previously, that uh, we sanded everything down, so there was no need for use any chemicals to use just just water. Okay, keep watching, guys. Okay, guys. So these are the drawers. Um, they are uh, properly sanded as you've seen. See, sorry, properly sanded as you've seen it in the video before, and they're ready to be uh, oiled. But uh, after I've sanded them down, I've cleaned them uh, just with a cloth, and then I wiped everything down with a uh, mineral spirit, clean white spirit. It's just just to make sure that they really clean. So I'll be using Osmo oil and gloss and I've got a regular sponge and I'll be applying it. Uh, as you can see I also uh, put some masking tape on the side as you can see it here just to make sure that there, there are no drips or the drips will be stopped. Because I want to do a little bit on the side as well.
quick look guys of my drawers after the first coat as you can see this is the first one that I've done and uh, as uh, the oil well it took me about 10 minutes to do them all for the first coat but that one is is getting dry already but I'm gonna leave it overnight to make sure that everything is nice and absorbed and these are the remaining drawers that I've done as you can see they are getting shape nicely into shape so I'm gonna do three more coats I think and I'm gonna show you the way it looks after the last coat as always because show showing you the same thing all over again it's like applying another coat and another and another and another and another it's a little bit boring so I'm gonna leave it out and I'm gonna show you the uh, end result and I wanted to show you how the top and uh, bottom part looks like but it's all in a very very uh, <laughs> cluttered uh, uh, workshop so I'm gonna leave it out at the moment okay I'll see you in a bit painting time guys so this time I'm gonna use a uh, fusion mineral paint chocolate which is a uh, very very dark brownish color Finished. We finally managed to put the whole piece back together again and I think it looks a little bit better than it was before so we've added some gold accents uh, on the columns to give it a little bit of more character as you can see veneer we, we we've done what we could but it was in a really really bad shape so it looks it looks much better I mean it looks way better than it was before but you still uh, can see some scratches and cracks but it's all been preserved uh, with oil so it should be fine and I hope you liked our video and uh, you will subscribe to our channel and we will produce some more videos with restoration slash makeover of the furnitures so thank you very much for watching and I'm shaking the camera <laughs> thank you very much for watching and I hope I'll see you soon in our next video. Thank you very much guys. Bye bye